welcome to ajay classes now we uh, in the last class we have discussed the sign convention of the ray of light which incident on the spherical mirror we have seen the sign uh, given to the object distance image distance focal length and radius of curvature now today we will study about rules for tracing the ray of light through the spherical mirror now let us see rules for tracing the ray of light ray of light through spherical mirror experiment spherical mirror se ho kar ke light kaise retrace karta hai aur kis path pe jata hai uska rule hum log kar rahe hain number 1 focal ke mirror draw the principal axis first we write the value for the point location of pole the rule is that when ray of light coming from infinity incident at any one point d it bounces back through the point focus for concave mirror the ray of light will bounce from the concave mirror and passing through the focus for convex mirror similarly we will draw the convex mirror by free hand and uh, we locate the point pole we draw the principal axis we draw the principal axis when light comes from infinity incident on any one point on the convex mirror it's diverge out from the convex mirror and appears to come from the point which is called focus this is the rule rule number 1 jab infinity se ray of light principal axis ke parallel aata hai to diverge out ho jata hai दूर हो जाता है प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस से और लगता है कि लाइट किसी एक पॉइंट से आ रहा है और वो फोकस पॉइंट होता है अब सेकेंड रूल सेकेंड रूल फोकन के मिरर पोल curvature yes when ray of light is incident on the mirror such that it is passing through the center of curvature the second rule the ray of light passing through the center of curvature does not gets diverted from its own path the incident on the any one point to the concave mirror and returns back following the same path jab light center of curvature se guzarta hai to mirror ka lower part mein incident ho kar ke return back ho jayega aur usi path se ho ke jaane lagega isme kisi bhi tarah se light apna direction nahi badlega ye rule number 2 decide kiya gaya 
और कन्वेक्स मिरर के केस में सेकेंड रूल को फॉलो करने के लिए वी ड्रा द प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस वी डिसाइड द पोल एंड वी डिसाइड द सेंटर ऑफ कर टू अदर साइड बिहाइंड द मिरर and the ray of light incident on the convex mirror coming from the infinity ray of light coming from the infinity such that it uh, appears to go to center of curvature when the light comes an incident on the any one point of the convex mirror such that it appears to go to the center of curvature it appears to go to the center of curvature and returns back this is the rule number 2 now we will see the rule number 3 to the pole directly from the infinity by making an angle i with the principal axis the ray of light bounces back in the same medium at the same angle of reflection so incident light makes angle of incident i and gets reflected back at the angle of r so law of reflection also be from the point of incident to the point of reflection the ray of light coming from infinity making angle angle of incident i and bounces back by making angle r with the principal axis and this rule is also obey for the convex mirror also convex mirror when the ray of light incident on the pole point of the convex mirror it returns back in the same medium making an angle i an angle of incident an angle of reflection so ray of light incident on the convex mirror makes angle i angle of incidence bounces back in the same medium by making angle of reflection with the principal axis so in every case the law of reflection is obeyed so this one is the important rules for tracing the path of the light for retracing the ray of light for concave mirror we just draw as it is we draw the principal axis passing through the pole and see the center of curvature f is the pole in focus when ray of light passes through the focus it after reflection it just becomes parallel this is the rule after reflection it becomes parallel the reflected light becomes parallel to the principal axis जब लाइट फोकस से जाता है 
जब लाइट फोकस से जाता है और मिरर के किसी भी पॉइंट पर अगर इंसिडेंट हो गया तो प्रिंसिपल एक्सिस के ठीक पैरेलल हो जाता है और वॉन्स बैक हो जाता है सेमी भी उसी प्रकार हम लोग फॉर कन्वेक्स मिरर वी कैन डिसाइड the ray of light coming parallel if the ray of light incident at any one point on the convex mirror suppose this is the point it becomes parallel with the principal axis So this is the last rule. How the light becomes parallel after bouncing back from the concave mirror, as well as from the convex mirror. In both the cases, the normal can be joined to the point B. I angle of incident, R angle of reflection, can be decided at the point of incident and the point of reflection. Similarly, when we draw. the dotted lines to the joining the center of the curvature this normal line decide the angle of incident to the angle of reflection so law of reflection is always obeyed for every tracing of light when the light incident when the light bounces back okay this is the for sign for rules for deciding the image formation